Hey everyone, our gate one travel trip continues with day eight. And on day eight, we leave to go on a celestial discovery cruise. Now, I don't know why, but in my head, I thought we were gonna get like a bargain type cruise ship because we got a really good price on this trip. But when we pulled up to the cruise ship, it was really nice. Now, our tour guide on the bus leading to the cruise ship warned us that our rooms were gonna be really small and we were gonna think we were in a closet. But actually, when we got to our room, it was much bigger than we thought it was gonna be. And then we found out this was only the third sailing of this ship after it's been renovated. So everything was still looking brand new and smelled good. You see our room here, it's really big. We actually had enough for three people in this room. We had a window, so we had a great view. And we actually left from Labrion, which is the port of Athens. So right after we checked out our room, we just went walking around the cruise ship to kind of get familiar with it. And you can see everything is beautiful on this ship. It was just such a pleasant surprise. I don't know why, I just thought we were gonna get like some beat up ship on this, this trip because it was such a good price. But you can see they didn't skimp on anything. It's, it's beautiful, it was a lot of great food there for lunch right when we walked in. So I just filmed a little bit of the food so you can see some of the selections. Now, one of the first things you have to do when you get on a new cruise ship is to take the mandatory safety drill where you have to put on your life jacket and go to your muster station just to make sure you know where to go in case something happens. And then we walked down to the gift shop and we had this really nice lady that was embroidering dolls and aprons and t-shirts and everything and she would embroider your name for you for free. And then we just walked around the ship to see what everything was and we found the theater and it was very modern and very pretty. Now this was definitely not a leisure cruise. This was a destination cruise. And our first stop was Mykonos at 6 p.m. Now we had never taken a cruise where the first day you got on board, then you made a stop. So after about five six hours we were on board we were already at the first destination so we did take a walking tour that was an additional 29 euros that was booked as an excursion now our local tour guide in this excursion her name was olivia and she walked us through all the little passageways and then we were surprised by our main tour guide panos that gave us some olive soap Now it seemed like we were always at the end of the line during this tour because we would always stop to take pictures because everything was so pretty and so different from where we're from. Everything was white and mainly blue. So we did take about a thousand pictures. Okay, I might be exaggerating a little bit, but we did take a lot of pictures. And usually every time we saw a cat, we would stop and take the cat's picture as well. Now everything was so fresh and clean. They did tell us they repaint everything about once a year. So I even did take one picture by myself, even though that's not my favorite thing to do. And then after we exited the alleyways, this was our final destination. It was the beachfront and the coastline. You can see all the buildings were so pretty. The water there is crystal clear. And then they also had some historic windmills. 
And then we had to climb up this really steep hill to get to the windmills, but it was definitely worth it because we never know if we will ever be back here again. It could be a once in a lifetime chance. And we just wanted to get pictures at these historic places. So we walked back to the beachfront one last time to get some more cheesy touristy pictures of our whole group and we just enjoyed each other. The weather was perfect and we were just having a great time. So this is our local tour guide, Olivia, who has lived in Greece for about 20 years. And I think she married someone from Greece. That's why she moved here, but she was a great guide. She showed us all the pretty sights. And then it was back off through some more little secret passageways until we could get to the main touristy spot. So when we did arrive in the, the main touristy spot, we did say farewell to our local tour guide, Olivia. Everyone thanked her for a great time. And then we had free time on our own where we could go explore local souvenir shops and restaurants and just see the pretty city. I was really impressed at this small harbor at how clear the water was. This place has thousands and thousands of people here every day and the water was just crystal clear. So then we were just popping in and out of the different souvenir shops to see if we can find anything different, anything unique that we really wanted to take home. And I think we did pick up a couple little trinkets here and there, but we didn't make any major purchases. It was just fun seeing what all they had to offer. So the sun was starting to set and all the city lights came on and the town was just as pretty at night as it was during the daytime. So we had to walk back to a shuttle bus, which they run every 30 minutes back and forth to the cruise ships so we could get back there and get something to eat for dinner. Now we did stop to take a couple more pictures on the way and then here we are arriving at the cruise ship. This is what the shuttle buses look like and you see they drop you off right at the cruise ship. When we got back to the cruise ship, we all headed straight up to the restaurant where they had a dinner buffet waiting on everyone. And it was really good. They had all kinds of great selections there. And then after a long, fun day, we headed back to our room where they had turned our beds down for us and left us a cute towel animal. And all this was just day one. We still have three more days to go. So thank you so much for watching. If you want to see the next three days of our trip, just stay tuned and I'll have them posted very soon.